What's up, YouTube? This is going to be like an educational slash informational video on uh, the SPY options and how to trade them. Some of the It's going to answer some of the questions I've gotten, okay? Now, first and foremost, I'm already a little bit set up, but if you want to follow along, can you please go and Google SPY options chain, okay? You Google that. You're going to see Yahoo Finance, NASDAQ, Bar Chart. Those are your first three. Use any one. It doesn't matter. They're all the same because all the data comes from the CBOE, Chicago Board of Options and Equities or Exchange. Okay. Okay. So the CBOE controls the options. All right. So all the data is pulled from there or pulled from there. Now, also bear in mind, okay. Monday, these prices will not be the same as we are seeing them. Okay, these prices, everything you're seeing, puts for September 19th, for Monday. These are not what you will see. As soon as that market opens, they're going to reflect whatever the market is right then and there. Okay, because options do not trade in the pre and a pre market and after hours. They don't trade in the pre-market or after hours. You can't buy or sell them. You are locked. So that's where most of the risk is going to come from on these if you are trying to do this challenge and this strategy. there There's risk that you get blown out, okay? Or you have an incredible morning. <laughs> you wake up and you go, honey, uh, get the oven ready because you're celebrating, okay? Um, for real. So. On two of the days this week, so on uh, on Tuesday and then again on Friday, okay? Had I held overnight, I did not, okay? I held overnight on the Friday and then I lost pretty big on Monday. And, and then I was just resigned to day trade and that's it. Uh, had I day traded and then held something overnight, Monday or Tuesday would have been amazing. Uh, I would have made $24,000 on Tuesday. And thirty-six thousand dollars on Friday, and I show everything on my Discord. So there are receipts there if you want to join the Discord. Check it out. Um, for example, okay, the three ninety-three strike. So if you want to, if you if you're like, what's a strike? A strike is the price of the. This the pretend the spy is a stock. Okay, it is an ETF, but just pretend it's a stock. Pretend you know, just like. Just like any other stock, AMC, GameStop, whatever. It's just, it's a ticker. That's their name, okay? Strike just means the price. What is the price? So the the price of the 393, and I go all the way down on my puts, the price of 393, okay? On Friday, it closed at 725. I had 60 contracts, okay? 60 contracts that I closed at... 339 each. One contract equals 100 shares. 100 shares. Okay? Gives you the every buying a put gives you the right, not the obligation to sell the stock at that price. So I had the right to sell this thing at 393. Okay? It's 385. <laughs> Do the math. Okay? Um so but let me put it out there, okay? If I if I just held for the premium overnight, it opened up at nine dollars something cents. So that was a six dollar. That was a six dollar. Six dollars more than what I sold it for, right? Nine nine. Call it nine thirty nine, okay? Minus the six thirty nine. Uh, sorry, three thirty nine. Six bucks, and I had sixty contracts, and each contract is one hundred shares, thirty six thousand dollars, okay? Uh, that literally, what for what I had invested, that one day would have been t uh, a double up, 100% more than one, more than 100% profit. Coupled with the 24,000, I would have made on Tuesday 60 grand. Okay, I only had about 30 grand in the play, right? So I would have tripled the uh, amount in my account that I had dedicated for that play in two days. Okay, you don't need a short squeeze. You don't need anything else. You just need to know what you're doing and accept some risk. I didn't accept the risk. I said, you know what? I made a couple of grand here, a couple of grand there. 
I made about, you know, I made it, I made a few thousand throughout the week. Okay. And I was okay with that. That was okay. A thousand a day keeps the job away, right? That's what I like to say. Say that five times fast. A thousand a day keeps the job away. That's what I like to say, right? Um, it's, it's cheesy, but it's totally true. I would never go to work any ever again and listen to some, some goof tell me what to do and, and when I can go on break and this, that, and the other. Tell me all the sales targets I have to hit and whatever, right? Uh, there's just no reason I would ever need to do that. Uh, and, and then I and then I walk home with, you know, 25 to 35 bucks an hour uh, and it's hell. And then I spend two hours in traffic. So, <clears throat> so it just got me thinking. And that's what the whole video was about, the walk and talk. It got me thinking. Okay, like if I got serious with this, what are the possibilities here, right? Where I'm at now in five trades, in five trades, what I'm willing to risk, I, I, could, I could make a million dollars. Well, very close to, okay, very close to. You double that, right? That's one, two, three, four, five trades. Five swing trades that are on the same level as Tuesday and Friday. Okay, Friday wasn't anything special. Tuesday was a big sell-off. Oh, it was so bad. It wasn't bad. They 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 pegged it to be so bad. Friday Friday it was like three eighty nine. Tuesday it was like uh, three ninety three or three ninety four. So I don't know what these news media outlets are talking about, but it wasn't reflecting in the actual overall market. Uh, maybe on a few stocks or on the majority of some plays, it was bad, but uh, not the majority, like some of the bigger names, whatever. But on the actual indice, it was still higher than it was the Friday prior. You were actually up money if you if you were long Friday. <laughs> so it didn't even matter about Monday. Um, so anyways, five trades, guys, from 30 G's, five trades from 30 G's, 960 grand, okay? You get that sixth trade. I don't. I like. I, I would not recommend that kind of risk. But you get that sixth trade. You're, you're talking 1.92 million after tax. You're probably looking at a million and change uh, in the bank. Okay. So, anyways, that's where I'm leaning. I need to make this cash because we don't know what the hell is going to be going on here very, very soon. Okay. And it's totally doable for you, right? Okay, 1,000 bucks, you start with one, you double it. That's one trade. Two trades. Three trades. Four trades. Five trades. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And then 11. If you want to really go, I don't think anyone's going to do that. I actually have a better strategy. Once you get that mill, you're, you're pretty much on easy street. You can write cash covered puts, uh, super safe, and just be, you know you're, you're going to log in like two or three times a week, check check things out, make sure nothing's going crazy, and you're going to be literally free from it all. So totally doable. Again, there's risk. There is a YouTube kid. He he turned one grand. He's at 17 mil right now. Okay. Uh, he had a shitty week, uh, and I feel like reaching out to him and being like, look, bro, if I can help you make, because he wants 30 mil. Like, I, I, you have 17, guy. Close it up. But some people, whatever. You know, he could lose it all in this crash. I don't know, but he could. And if he had a bad week this week, he obviously doesn't know how to short. He doesn't know how to, he doesn't know how to play puts, because what the hell was he doing? One of the days he lost $157,000 or something. He's got 17 mil. Who cares? But this is a guy who kind of came from nothing. So he, he you know, that's going to sting you. Even if you're rich, that's going to sting because you came from nothing. You weren't born into it. Okay. How's he losing money? Play the downside. You you know, the, the news is bad everywhere. Play the downside. He could have probably turned that 17 mil into 25 this week alone. No problem. And no, I'm not joking. Right. If I could have three X. He could have 3 x He could have turned 17 mil into $51 million, like for real. So anyways, 
you just have to accept that you, you you play what the market is doing. You don't decide to buy in hodl or or look for squeeze plays, and that's all you're going to do. Okay, we've got it. I've got a new strategy. I'm doing this. I'm always adapting. That's what I do. So, because um, that's all you can do in this market. The market doesn't make sense. A lot of these companies are valued way over what they're worth. Uh, some of them are worth a billion bucks, and they've got nine minus two million on the balance sheet. Like it doesn't make sense. I'm getting off course here. I'm super sorry. So, <laughs> what you want to do? Let me just get right to it. You want to pick a date, pick a strike based on the news. If you think Monday's gonna suck, Monday morning opens, get in right away because it's gonna be that boom, that big red candle, or a big red candle, another candle, another candle. And then a correction candle. Okay, it'll be like it'll be like this. It'll be like ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, and then it'll do that, right? Even better. Oh, you can't even, you can't even see it. Fuck it. You know you know what I'm saying. Anyways, it does that. You get in. You pick something up. You buy the put, like like I said, what's it at right now, right? It's at 385. So right Monday morning, you have it queued up. You have your order queued up. You have your 390, uh, sorry, yeah, your 391 queued up. Have this price. It's going to be way lower. It's going to be way lower if it's if the pre-market is already going back. Whatever it is, just look, we have to pretend that that's at the opening price because I have to be able to give you examples. If it's lower, you, you just move the needle, okay? But anyways, you pick this price. Have it ready. Have your buy, buy, put ready. Buy, $3.91. $5.55. How many contracts do you want? One, two, three, four, five, ten, whatever you want, okay? If it's a thousand bucks, if it's a thousand bucks, you can afford two contracts, not even. You can't even afford two because it's five fifty-five. You'll you'll have to take the four eighty one, right? Four eighty one times one hundred shares. $481 times two contracts, 962 bucks. There are some fees I said there. So with the fees, you can afford two contracts of the 390 strike. Monday morning, okay? Monday morning, boom. You're gonna hit. Pick $5 above the ask. Five bucks above, sorry, above the spy price, okay? Or, or whatever you can afford, you know, two or three contracts for 1K, right? So, so like alternatively, you could get three of these, these 387s. 387, right? 387, that's 290 times 100 times 3. 870 bucks, okay? 870 bucks, you could get three of these contracts. It's uh, virtually irrelevant, though. Um, you might as well go with the, the higher one and, and not ex uh, expose yourself to as much risk in case it comes back up right away. Who knows? Maybe you get one red bar. Before you can close it, it starts to move up. So that's what the whole point of the five dollars is: is to give you a little bit of space in case it moves. Okay. Alternatively, you could look on Monday instead of the nineteenth. I will not be playing the nineteenth. Okay, that's that would have been if you held, if you held on Friday. Um, I will be playing two days two days from there, so the 21st, right? So what's that? Uh, Wednesday, okay? Wednesday, go down to puts, right? Stur current stock price would be what? 385, right? So I said 385, five bucks more for me. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it was in change, so we'll go one, two, three, four. Oh, they don't even have it. That is interesting. Uh, this is probably going to be updated. Okay, I wasn't anticipating this for the video, but it's going to be updated because they're, they're just skipping numbers. You got 386, then they just skip 387. 
and go to 88, and then they skip 89 and go to 90. Okay, so I guess I guess I would be targeting the 392 unless we wake up on Monday and there is a 391, which I think there will be, but who knows, okay? I don't want that. I want to give myself as much space as possible. I'm paying 812 each, okay? 812 each. Uh, I'm not going to risk everything. Maybe I do 15 grand. If I had 812, I can get 18 contracts, okay? Maybe nine. I'll do nine. You know, I'll probably just do 20. Just uh, so it's easy. Two zero, right? And I'm not 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 one eight. Two zero. So I'm going to get 20 contracts of that. You. You've got a thousand bucks, okay? You can afford two at three eighty six. You don't get to give yourself any space, uh, or you can buy like one of either of, of either of these, okay? So that's what you'll target. You'll target three ninety two or three ninety four, one contract. That's it, because that's going to be eight hundred twelve bucks, nine hundred seventy six bucks. Uh, if you think it's going down, if you think it's going up. You do the opposite, 385, and this is all up to you. This is all up to you. 385, you're going to target, what, 380? That's 5 bucks in the money. 870, the next one's 1001, so you can't afford that. Really, it's one penny, so it's $10, $1,010. Yeah, like, you can pick whatever one you want, 378 or 380, okay? I'm not like you're obviously not like that's all you have is is one thousand bucks. It's a strict limit. Like who cares? Whatever you want to do. I'm just giving you an example. If all you wanted to put was like exactly one thousand and not a penny more, okay? So this would be you'd be three eighty. So that gives you five dollars, three eighty, one strike. You would buy it, okay? You're do you, these are buying. You are buying the call or you are buying the the put, okay? Now what you can do, is you can actually see like. What what kind of profit would you have if if it moved? Okay, and basically you just go back five bucks, five strikes. So let's say the call moves up five for you. It goes it goes from three eighty five to three two three ninety. Let's say, okay, one two three four five. So there's your five strikes. You'd go from about eight seventy to like twelve fifty seven each. Okay, twelve fifty seven minus eight seventy. 387 bucks profit. Uh, this isn't exactly what we're looking for in the challenge. This is like interday market opens scalping. For the purposes of the challenge, it's almost like you're making a call um, to hold it like the whole day or overnight and hoping for that gap down, okay, um, or gap up. That, that gap is, is going to be the difference of a good day or a bad day. Now, I know I said in my previous video, like 10 bucks move should get you the 2x, right? So if it, I mean, that, that, that is, that is you got to keep in mind, that is rare. That is rare. But I said you will have to pick your targets, pick your, pick your entries, like pick the dates. I said in as little as 10 trades, okay, or 22 days. That would be like the perfect world scenario. That wouldn't be, um, that wouldn't be, like, that's not what's going to happen. So there's obviously going to be days where you don't do it at all, or it's just not the right day. Uh, and timing it is going to be on you to kind of figure out. I can't time it for you because we might have different ideas of what, what is to come. So 385, that would be what? 375. Should be all the way to here. Look at the difference. Okay, 537, 1234, right? $6, that is 100%. That is more than 100%. You paid 537, your profit was 697, okay? You had 160% gains there. On a ten dollar spy swing, ten bucks, which has happened multiple times this week, this last week. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't even like this version. Uh, what what is it? What the hell is it? Uh, let's see if this even shows up properly. 
I'm not logged in, so it won't show a bar. I'm just going to try and find it real quick. Sorry. <clears throat> eh, let's see if this works. Bar charts. Candlestick. Sure, perfect. This is what we're looking for. Okay. Chart would be frequency daily. Uh, let's go frequency intraday. No. Okay, so what was Friday? September sixteenth. So look look at the look at this swing, okay? We went from look look at this. Look at this. Okay? This is insane. Four twenty nine, four twenty eight. Ah, uh, no, nah, no, nah, we need to we need to lower this. Five days. Jesus. Sorry guys. Okay, so in, in one day on Monday, right? It was like 406. It went all the way to 412. So it went at six bucks move. That wasn't the full move, but from the Friday, that was more than 10 bucks. Okay. Uh, then again, the next day, 410, you opened at 401 and change. That's your $10 move, right? Like that. Had you held it all day, this is where I enter. I didn't hold it. I entered it here. You hold it all day, three ninety three. You got you got almost a twenty dollar swing on the day. You would have went you would have went a twenty dollar swing, guys. Okay, it was what was it? Four ten, four ten to three ninety three. Okay, four ten six six cents six cents to three ninety three. Uh, we'll call it three ninety four to a dollar sixty one. Okay. Sorry. Puts. Let me go to puts. I was on. I think I was on. Am I on calls or puts? Yeah, I was on calls. Sorry. Puts. Why did it reset? Okay. Four ten. Four ten. Twenty four forty two. Sorry, three ninety three. You would have paid somewhere around, somewhere around eight, uh, nine bucks. You would have paid somewhere around nine bucks, and it was, and it went to twenty four forty two. Okay, you would have made almost three hundred percent, three hundred percent in one day from there to there. But my strategy was, you you hold it overnight and you close it the next day. Doesn't matter. And then you can you can figure this out as the day goes on, or if you're real crazy, you hold it. Okay, that's three hundred percent gains, though. This is like you're one hundred and sixty percent, and this is three hundred percent. Okay, then this day, if you were like, you know what? Oh, it's going up. Uh, I don't want to do a call, and I don't want to do anything. So you you just skip this. You skip this open. You skip this open. You see this? Maybe you get excited. You know, I don't know. Maybe you just avoid it because you're like, yeah, this seems this seems rocky, right? You just let all this happen. Look, if you if you did nothing the whole day, you wound up literally at the same spot, the same spot all day. If you did nothing, you started here and it ended exactly where it opened. It was technically a flat day, even though there was all this juicy movement. And yes, I was playing this and making money. But here you say, you know what? It couldn't break. It couldn't break the morning open. It just did nothing. I'm gonna buy some puts today. And it was three ninety three ninety five. Okay? It was three ninety five. It opened up the next day around three ninety three. Not a big deal. If you held it though, boom, there's your ten bucks. Uh sorry, there's your there's five bucks. Not ten bucks, but five bucks, okay? But if you got really bullish and you held it all day, or bearish I should say. Really confident, and you held it all day. It went to three eighty eight. That was another ten, a uh, twelve bucks. That's another twelve bucks. And this strategy, I'm just looking for ten dollars, ten bucks. Okay, so you've hit it twenty bucks, ten bucks. You're already at you're already at thirty out of the fifty dollars uh, required here. 
Well, for me, I would need 50 bucks to get to a million. 50 bucks gets me to a million bucks from 30 grand. Okay. Um, you need, you need a hundred, but, uh, so there's your, there's 30. And even here, you're like, I'm not buying it. FedEx is talking bearish. This thing looks like a dumpster fire and you hold it with new ones. 390 boom, opens up 382. You get eight bucks. Close enough. Close it up. And what happened in the day? Kind of it, it ended higher. Right? And you can see the volume. Calls are coming in. They're trying to create a reversal. I'm not, I'm still not buying it myself. But so in this whole week, just this last week, you made 38 out of your $100 required to have that million bucks. Uh, you turn, so you did it successfully here. Right, uh, you did it twice, so you went you went from one grand to four grand. Right, you skipped this day. This day you went from four grand to eight grand. Right, and then this day to this day you went from like eight grand. You didn't get the full one. You got eighty percent. You went from eight grand to fourteen thousand four hundred. You went from one grand, one thousand bucks to fourteen thousand four hundred bucks this week alone. Okay, you want to flip it and you say, you know what, you know what, let's go back a month. Look at this, goes down, comes up, goes down, comes up, goes down, rallies, falls off a cliff. Maybe it's going to come back up. Maybe it's going to come back to 400. Right now, it is trading between like 380 and change and like 420. You know, I don't really count this. This is kind of where we've been, like, because like even look at this, 410, right? So who knows? Maybe you switch to the call side and you get 10 bucks up. Okay. I just, I don't even want anything to do with calls myself. I play a few in the day. That's about it. I don't do these long holds, but you get a gap. You get a gap. Uh, you can get a gap up. Okay. Like right here. Yeah. It's not going to let you know, let me zoom or what? How the hell do I zoom? Uh, it doesn't let me zoom, but here you got a gap up and another gap up. So it, th these gap ups happen, okay? But look what also happens. It just filled these gaps and gap right back down. So it, it's doable, okay? Pick whatever you want. I have another guy saying he's picking three weeks out for same day. He doesn't even want, just in, he says just in case. In case it goes up, I, I lose a day of, uh, of a day of the time value. Which is smart. Which is smart. If it goes up, it gives them a few days. But it's going to cost you a boatload. You're not probably not going to be able to do it with a grand. Three weeks out would be... So Monday would be the 3rd. The 3rd of October. Okay? Three weeks out on a put. If it's 385 right now and I want a $5, $5 variance, I want... Or 6... It's okay, 391. Oh, that's actually not even too bad at all. Ten dollars eighteen cents. Uh, the IV is crap though. Uh, oh, that's the change. Where's the IV? IV. Okay, sorry. Last row. I don't use this as much. Twenty-two is good. Okay, you want around twenty-five percent. Twenty-two is fine. Twenty-two is fine. Fifteen. Nah, we don't want that. This is actually a sweet strike. You could you could target this if you're getting your feet wet. Target the three ninety because it's like right close to the one thousand. It's one thousand thirty bucks. Uh, or is it 1,003? 10, 1003 times 100. 1,003 bucks. Yeah, sorry. So it's 1,003 bucks. That's like literally perfect for this challenge. If you think this is going to go down Monday, at some point you will enter this, you will buy one contract and you will, and then that's going to be your hope for the 10 buck move. Okay. Eight to 10 bucks. Try not to be like, Totally set on 10. That's just like what, that's like ideal for easy math for, for trying to double, 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 double. If it's six bucks, five bucks, it doesn't matter. I don't care. If it takes you, tw if it takes you 35 trades to get there, who gives a crap? The, the whole point is to turn 1K into a million and to do it doing the spy puts, uh, or calls. Okay. But that'd be a perfect strike for you. Okay. Uh, October 3rd. 
This is not even it. Oh my god, go to the right one. Oh, it is. What's going on here? Sorry. <laughs> the, the problem with using this is I don't use this. You've seen what I trade with on my other videos. I use my actual trading platform, which I'm super familiar with. Like, I don't even... Like, why isn't it... As I scroll, this is so garbage. Like, see all of these headers? As I scroll, why the hell do they get hidden? Now I don't know what the shit is. Move it down so I can always see it, Yahoo. Hello? Is this your first rodeo, Yahoo? Like, if we don't know what the hell we're looking at, what point? what's the point? So anyways, I have to get that rant in. Uh, what the hell are we looking at now? 391, right? Yeah. Here's your 391 put. You hit buy, boom. Uh, you're good. For Christ's sakes. You're good. That's it. That's the one. You hold that, you get your 10 bucks, you're looking at two grand the next day. Boom. Just like that. Easy peasy. Okay? Or it goes against you. Since this is a longer one, you can hold it. If it's a two-day one, you've got to get out and accept your loss. Okay? I might even actually practice with some of these next week so I can let you know how they turn out. If you want to sit on the sidelines and let me do the research with my money. I'm not doing no practice trades accounts. The, the losses are real and the gains are also real. I mean, I got this on a whim. On a whim, I got this $2,000 uh, drone because I made good money. And I want to treat myself and spend some money for a change. Like, when you make the money, treat yourself so that you can see, hey, this is what happens when I make money. Because the losses you're going to remember no matter what. <laughs> but if you don't have any of anything to show for the gains, what's the point? So, anyways, I go on tangents. I'm sorry, but it's like, whatever. I don't, I don't script these out and plan these out. I don't think these are ever going viral anyways. So, that's your strike. You're good to go there. If you think it's going to go up, if you think it's going to go up, 385. You're going to go back down to 380 so that's like a $5 difference. You're going to pick that up. That's 1200 so you're going to have to spend 1200 bucks. If you're like, ah, I really want to keep it as close to possible, I guess you get the 382 or the 384 384 you don't get anything. You get, you get $1 difference from where it's at. Again, you're not holding these for three weeks. You're just holding them for the day. So pick whatever you want, okay? I don't care. Pick, pick. Pick a two week, a three week, a two week, pick, pick, uh, the Friday or just pick a two day. It, it's really, I think it's irrelevant. Um, two day is probably best if you're day trading it. I don't know. I'm going to actually test this out since, since honestly, these premiums aren't that bad. Like a, a, you go down here, if we're 385 right now, 740, 740 for three weeks out at, 23% IV, tons of open interest. And then if I go, God, why does it show everything? If I go back, say, what's the Friday? Fuck. Friday would be the 20th. Well, now yeah, let's do the two day. So the 19th. So what was it? Three. 391 was 1018. Three ninety was ten oh three. Ten oh three. Ten oh three each versus four eighty one. Like literally more than double. More than double. But it gives you the time component. And you can tell <laughs> it isn't just up and it isn't just down. A little bit of a double bottom and then a rally. Steep sell-offs. I don't know about this. This is going to be resistance, 390. That's a five bucker. Maybe you go call for five bucks and, and then get out before that. See if it, if it explodes. Ah, that sucks. You lost. You had unrealized gains. If it rejects, oh, sweet, you booked some profit. Because uh, we don't know what's going to happen. When this thing is going to go either way. Uh, I'm leaning towards a cold winter. I'm leaning towards this stuff gets 
Let me put it like this. Here's a one year on the spy. We started the year at 440. We're at 385. Sounds about right to me. But I, I think that's way too high. Why do you say that? Because we've had two years of hell. Two years ago, this was 321, guys. 321. All it did. Give me a break. Between, between CV19 and Biden, this is what we had? There's no way, man. You, are you joking? This is so fake. This is, this is BS. We need to see a total retracement. We are way worse off than ever before. The oil reserves you guys have way down. Debt sky high, right? Interest is sky high. This should be, we should be going, we should be going back three to five years. We're talking in the twos, man. The twos. The twos. This is your chance, I think, right now to get a, even if you set a fib retracement from here, 220 to 483, right? 483 minus 220. 263 bucks, six, this, 62% retracement, it'd be like somewhere around here, 163, 163 from the high of, uh, what, four, what did we say, 482, 483, 483 minus 163, 320, 320 is your 63, or 62% FIB retracement, 320. So right around here. Oh, and what do you know? What a shocker. Is anyone surprised? Like, I'm literally doing this on the fly, guys, and you can see the algorithm. <laughs> it's to a T. These are touching 320. These are both topping out at 320. I'm literally doing this live. <laughs> like, I, I don't use this bar chart crap. 320, and then kind of 320 here, 320, 320. A lot, lot of bars touching 320 up in here, okay? Look at that. How You can't even make this up. This is coming down one way or another to at least 320 on a, on a FIB retracement, just like any other stock that runs, it needs to cool off if it ever wants to run again, okay? You know, it could happen. I don't know. We hit, this is a five year and it might take the rest of the year and into next year to do it. It's not a race. It's not a race. I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Okay. They think, oh, we're getting deflation. No, it's like a six month lag. We barely got inflation, let alone deflation. I don't even think we've seen the worst of the inflation yet. So what if fuel's coming down? Big deal. Everything else is still sky high and people want higher wages and stuff too. That's just going to get passed on to the consumer. 320 from 385. That's 65 bucks. 65 bucks between right now and what I think, what I think basically the virtual low is at this point, a respectable low. I do think we get into the twos, but let's call it 320. You're, you're almost there, right? 65. 65 out of 100 is 65%. So what, uh, a million times 0. 0.65, right? 650,000. That's, you're going to, you could potentially go from 1K to 650K. So if you really, if you, if you really want to double it up, you go from 2K, you're at like one in 1.3 mil. So if you want to start with 2K instead of 1K, but you're constantly reinvesting the entire thing thing max risk max risk to get it on those numbers like that that to get it on double ups now i also said in my walk and talk this video was getting long i know i appreciate you for sticking around but i you know it's exciting to me it's exciting to to think about the possibilities and the amount of money to be made you're not you're not you're not forced essentially into holding uh, companies and praying and, and any of that crap. You're just like, you're paying attention to the world around you. You're going with a little bit of charting and you're 
making uh, somewhat educated guesses in in uh, sentiment, okay? You got to think. People are going to be strapped for Christmas. Halloween, then we got Christmas right after that. Back to school, Halloween, Christmas, bills, 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 bills. Heating costs during winter. They're going to be strapped. They're not buying market. They're not putting their savings into the market. They're pulling savings and paying for crap. Okay? Riding out the storm. She comes down. We make some good money. We end the year off good. Other people are boohooing because all their dip buying. Oh, I bought the dip. I bought the dip here, guys. Well, now you're here. Good. Nice dip buy, guys. Ooh, you sweet. You bought the dip? Oh, look. Yeah, I told you, guys. I told you. Buy the dip. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to buy this dip and I'll really teach you. Oh, yeah. Told you, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it, damn it, I'm almost out of money, but I, god damn it, I'll have to buy the dip again. I, now I gotta average down. I got to. I have to average down. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I told you guys. Oh, should I take some profit? Mm, I'll, I'll take a little profit, but I won't take it all, because I'm, I'm bag holding from all the way up here. I'm pretty close, but I think, you know what? Full reversal. Deflation is in. Oh, no. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just setting people up. They're setting people up, bringing in money, and dumping it, bringing in money, and dumping it, bring in money, dump it, bring in money, dump it, bring in money, dump it. When all the institutes and hedgies start buying crap up, that's when it's actually time to buy. Not until then. This is frigging hilarious. This is what I just said I bought. I'm just noticing it now. And it's not 819. It's 819 if you don't want any remote control or the goggles. So if you don't want to even be able to fly it, yeah, it's 819. It's 819 to replace the one you break. It's it's 1900 bucks to actually get one that you can fly. Google is listening to me through my microphone. Like, for Christ's sakes, why is it showing me this? Um, anyway, <laughs> oh man, that is so trippy in a bad way. Like, I hate this. I, I can't stand that. Um, apparently, I want TVs too. So, uh, I was actually looking at this because it was buy one, get one free. So, this is like maybe because I visited their site and now they're giving me targeted ads. But again, super weird. Um, God, guys, like I seriously think we're gonna, I'm going to mint millionaires here. Like, no jokes. 100,000 heirs. I better. I better mint some 100,000 heirs. So, alternatively, what you could do if you don't want to risk the whole thing all in is what I said. Like, you know what? Okay, you go from your 1K, you go to 2K, you double up, right? Right, you do your double up. 1K, you double up. Sweet, I made that I made that double up. You put 500 bucks of the, you put half the profit, which is 1,000 bucks. You put one, half the profit into savings. Booked, booked profits. 